So players who are familiar with the small sided game. As Jose Aguinaga breaks in and has his shot saved. First chance of the game. Directly over the midfield line. There are a few intricacies that the referees are well schooled on. That comes to play as this strike gets played in and a second save already. Tangara that time stepping in front of the strike from. He's already got three goals in this competition. Aguinaga cuts this one back. Base now to work here. Another save for La Bombanera. Chad Porch. To find a teammate, now they lose it and Rashidi starts the counterattack. Rashidi with the strike and we've got an opening goal. Harari Rashidi, his first goal of the tournament. Maganya, Maganya now closed defensively and a chance to break here the other way for Gracie. Gracie takes the shot and it's saved by Munoz. Hernandez now coming out of his center forward spot to Porch and to Giorgana. Back towards Porch, Porch with the flick on. What a goal, La Pombinera. Tiki tack across the field, and they're able to equalize. And as expected, this game is full of goals. Down to the end line, knocked back in. The strike's off the post. Big opportunity there for Sanchez. No coincidence, you'd have to think that Aguinaga comes back on the field now, as does the goal scorer Rashidi to help them strengthen maybe a little heading towards the halftime. Play deep into the box. Opportunity to turn and shoot. Tangata. Not sure what was going on behind him. He's forced to punch that one wide. It was the volley from Puentes that caused the chaos. Puentes now plays this one in to the far post. Knocked down. Still alive on the far side. And no goal, says our referee Mike Laverne. And immediately, Gracie FC out the other side. Attacking now. Yellow jerseys flying forward. The collision and the foul will go against Gracie. Ready to roll here in the second half. Rashidi, the opening goal for Gracie FC, equalized. At the end of these 20 minutes, we'll set that target score and then we will play till then. Chance coming here, the strike and another save from Amadou Tangara. He's trying to up their pressure, these two teams. They're not gonna sit in their defensive shape they're both sides that want to get out and get after it. As Tangara makes another save, falling into his own goal. He throws it away, and he keeps this one level. Natas Obina, former Equatorial Guinea international, leading the press from the front line as Porch takes the strike. Tangara with another save. Eder Giragana is it off for Maganya. Maganya, he was fantastic in the first half, as was Sanchez. He plays this one off, and Sanchez there to follow it up. Again off the post. He hit the near post in the first half. He hits the far post now. Named under the historic Jiu-Jitsu family, Gracie. Gregor not related to them, but trained for many years and put this team together, a lover of the beautiful game. But he won't love that. The breakthrough for Hernandez. It had been coming all half. Joaquin Hernandez. His third goal of the tournament. Eddie Sanchez chasing there. The cross blasted in by Musa. And now it's Sadat Kareem standing over this one. Four goals already in this tournament. Kareem with the strike. Munoz with the save. Munoz out wide. Playing into the space. It's turned over. Opportunity to tie it here. The battle. And Kareem not, Kareem not able to find his feet. Now, right now, our leading goal scorer, Joaquin Hernandez steps into the attack. Hernandez gets it back. Hernandez with the shot, and Tungar is able to clean it up. Bombonera just a step ahead of this Brazilian side. Ghana now, Eddie Sanchez plays it in, and it's a tap-in for Urban Mojica, his second of the tournament. And La Bamba Nera will take a commanding lead here. Into target score time. A double header 
set of championship matches on the women's and men's side. It is going to be a treat for all soccer fans. Toronto 4-0, they lost 5-4 in target score time. The La Bombonera is by no means out of the woods here, leading three to one, but our target score is set at four and walk off dramatic winners. Either way, they've both clinched their spot in the next round and the winner will win the group here in group D. La Bombonera going to work early, Tangara with another save. La Bombonera and their all black kits going right to left, Gracie, their yellow kits going left to right on your screens. Here in target score time. Midway through here. We will go down to 5v5 if we don't have a goal, but we won't need it. La Bombonera comes from behind, trailing 1-0 early in this one. And they make it a 4-1 victory.